Installations was a big thing. The greenery backdrops. I feel like I pioneered all of that. Like, come on now, sister. So come on now. Don't 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 be don't be don't be bad for now. Let everybody know. And I only know that because I know when I started, and I know when I started to see. You Obviously, see like it. you're not. Um, how can I say this? Like everything has been here once before. Like mm -hmm. technically, we're not all just like this original whatever. Right. But um, in Cleveland, I've never seen flower walls happen the way they were happening like until I started to go. Come on now, say it. Yeah. Um yeah. So I, I, I my brain my brain be going. Uh yeah. couple questions. So the between a permanent fixture versus a what's what do you call it, the opposite of permanent yeah, fixture? The rental. The rental, walls. okay. Yep. So permanence is I'm coming into your business, your boutique, your hair salon, your restaurant, and I'm putting a flower wall up on your wall. It has your name on it, it has your brand colors, and people grab your product, buy it, and take a picture in front of it. Mm. Um, or it's just like a nice decor piece. Um, rentals is, I'm planning this really big event, this really big wedding, and mm. I just need this flower wall for my ceremony and my reception. And we drop it off that day, um, and we pick it up when your event is over. Mm, okay, okay. And I want them to see mm. how I started from the ground up, how this girl just had nothing and turned it into a Sequoia business. So like, I want them to see how we bootstrapped this business and we didn't give up and um, and they didn't see much change. Now, when I say that, I, I'm not going off doing a million different things. I'm doing flower walls and that's work and I want to be remembered for that, um, for showing up to these the best of events in Cleveland and that they have this beautiful floral piece to take photos in front of that's stored in their phone that can be remembered forever. Like mm -hmm. those are the things that I want to constantly be in our history books in Cleveland. And um, and I want them to be able to see the transition from my children taking it over now. And like they see little videos of them like in the by the flower walls and just pretending to intertwine and just having their hands on things. I'm, I, it'd be nice to see that transition and see now they're the face of the business, you know? So basically we're saying a documentary. We're waiting for the documentary yes. to go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would rather help somebody with entrepreneurship in their idea versus, you know, flower wall idea. Mm. I, I'm here, but it's, it's, it's a very thin line. Okay. And I'm, I'm there to drop jewels. I'm there to share, like, how... I invoice clients, what my pricing list and things like that look like. Those very hard things that you really don't know. I didn't yeah. know um, until this trial and error. This is what people like. This is what they don't like. This is what works. This doesn't work. So um, I'm open to talking with anybody because I wish. That, yeah, if I can help somebody overcome something yeah. like that, yeah. mm -hmm. let's do it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I think it, it's going to take some action. Um, mm. masterminds are very helpful. So, like, imagine if, like, some, just a room full of entrepreneurs could just get together in a room, a very organized, structured setting, not chaotic, just a very organized place where everybody can talk about their problems, you know, and we help to solve the problems, come mm. up with solutions. Like, maybe they talk about somebody that they've worked with and it didn't work well. Like, you have to be, it has to be a trustworthy mm. situation where we come together and have a mastermind about what, what works. Um, that's how we can collaborate. How, like, what else could we, <laughs> this is my <laughs> thought process. Um, yes, you can like collaborate with somebody else's business and do something and go to some sort of conference and do pop-ups and collabs on Instagram, but like we really need to get to the root of a lot of problems and businesses and it sometimes it's money, sometimes it's just people don't know what they don't know. And if you're in a room with people, it could help to bounce ideas off of others. So yeah. I think we need a Cleveland entrepreneurship mastermind group where we can come together in a room. We're working on it. Yeah. <laughs>